Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of geometry, specifically how we can describe different types of quadrilaterals, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So what we need to know first is that quadrilateral is a name for a large group of shapes that have four sides and four angles. So all of these you see on the screen today. We'll start with the trapezoid, but all of them have four sides and four angles. So when we're looking at a trapezoid, typically it's going to look like this. And that's not the only way to draw it. I'll draw you another example in just a moment. But a trapezoid only has one set of, I'm going to put these two L's right here. That's actually the mathematical term for parallel lines. You see this top one right here? And then the bottom one, those are parallel lines. That means that if they were to extend forever, they would always be the exact same distance apart. They would never touch, they would never get closer, they would never move farther apart. So a trapezoid only has one set of parallel lines. Another way to draw a trapezoid might be, look a little bit strange, but if you remember our definition, you would see that this is also a trapezoid. You see uh, my two parallel lines, they're over here on the sides now. But a trapezoid has just one set of parallel lines, so that's how we deal with that. Let's look at a rhombus. A rhombus, some of us might think of a rhombus as a diamond. And it's, we might call it a diamond, but the actual name is rhombus. It has two sets of parallel lines. So this one right here, and this one right here, and then the two opposite ones. And then it's got four equal sides. So all four sides are equal. If you've ever played with pattern blocks, the blue shape and the tan shape are both rhombuses because you can make them really skinny if you want to. You can kind of make it like this, a little bit longer. But you notice we've got four equal sides and we've got these parallel lines across from each other. So that's a trapezoid, that's a rhombus. Parallelogram, the only thing a parallelogram have, has is two sets of parallel lines, just like a rhombus, but that's all it's going to have. So typically you'll see something kind of like this, going to kind of look slanted like this. And so this top one is parallel to the bottom and the two diagonals are parallel with each other. But what we also can say is we can also say a rhombus is a parallelogram. That's the strange thing about it. You can describe that rhombus with multiple words. Parallelogram is a much larger category that includes rhombus because it has two sets of parallel lines. Now let's go to the ones that we've known for a long time, a rectangle. So a rectangle has two sets of parallel lines and it's got four we're going to use this right here. That's a little symbol for right angles or square corners. So we know what a rectangle is. A rectangle's got two sets of parallel lines. They're not slanted or anything. And then you could put a little box in each corner if you wanted to, because that means they are square corners. But that also means I can put a rectangle over here in my parallelogram, because a rectangle has two sets of parallel lines. And then finally, we have the most special shape of all. We have a square. It has two sets of parallel lines. It also has four square corners. And it also has four equal sides. And it doesn't matter whether you draw your square facing this way or if you tilt it a little bit like this. As long as you've got the square corners, you're good to go. So two sets of parallel sides, well, that means that square could also be a parallelogram because it's got two sets of parallel sides. And that also means a square can be a rhombus. I'm gonna draw it right up here. A square is a special type of rhombus because it has four equal sides. And we can also say a square is a special type of rectangle because it has four square corners. Now, how would we draw something that is not any of those, but maybe is a quadrilateral? Well, if you were to draw some kind of shape like this, as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four sides, but it doesn't have any parallel lines or square corners. 